Hey. Hey, sis. How are you? Um, I don't know. I'm a little tired, a little anxious for the day, but... No, you've got this. You're going to do such a great day. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for that. I needed that today. <laughs> yeah. I've been dancing for about 19 years now, but also pretty much straight out of the womb. <laughs> my sister was a dancer, and my family's from the Caribbean, so we would always just kind of play reggae music and jam every night. And so that's kind of how I started moving and grooving at such a young age. I love you, Ari. I go away. I love you too, Ellie. Oh gosh. We all go through struggles. We all go through times of doubt. And so it's been really important for me to have people that bring me back up and put a little more confidence in myself when I've lost it. New York winters still get me. I am from Texas. My mom is from Jamaica, my dad's from Trinidad, so cold weather is not in our blood. I moved to New York when I was 15, and I think I was just so excited about ballet that I didn't really get homesick at first, but also made me realize now how much I've missed home over the years. I didn't get to have my whole high school life at home. I didn't go to a college close to my family. And so I feel like I missed out on some of those last years of living at home. I love the hustle and bustle of the city. I come from a small town and moving here opened up my eyes to realize that I can be myself fully. I don't have to try to put on a face or try to act a certain way. And I think that's the New York in me. Ballet is very difficult in all aspects, mentally and physically. But when we get on stage, we have to make it look effortless. It's hard for people to see all of the hard work that we've put in behind the scenes. In most of my ballet classes growing up, I was the only black girl in the class. I would kind of get pushed back in all aspects of ballet in general. I'm very excited for the moment where it's normal to see black dancers on stage and I'm excited for the audiences to diversify as well. Ballet should look like the world and the world is very diverse. As a ballet dancer, the work is never done. We put in all this hard work in the studios and rehearsals and class, just perfecting yourself which of course you'll never reach perfection, but that strive for perfection is something I look forward to every day. You're working for hours a day, your body can get tired, and sometimes you can lose the energy to want to push yourself, and sometimes you lack confidence because of that. You kind of have to push that voice in your head aside and say, hey, you've been rehearsing for this four months, you have been perfecting your ballet technique for years. You have all the tools you need. You're ready for this. And you know when you finally reach that point when you're on the stage, you can just let it all go. The spotlights are on you and it's your moment to shine.